Antalya is one of Turkey's fastest growing cities. It has an ideal climate, except for the scorching heat in July and August. The city sits on a limestone plateau with the Bidalari Mountains to the west. In the heart of the town, a pretty yacht harbor lies below the Roman walls. Konyalti Bay curves to the industrial harbor, 10 kilometers. Most tourists stay in the small central old quarter within the Roman walls, called Kailici, within the castle. The archaeological museum, west of the old town, holds one of the finest collections in the country. New attractions have sprung up around it, like the large Antalya Aquarium. Antalya was founded in the 2nd century BC by Attalus II of Pergamon. It was named Adelaia in his honor. The Romans took control of the city and its hinterland during the imperial period, after defeating local pirates. Christianity and the Byzantines arrived slowly, but Antalya's strategic location and good anchorage made it a key stop for the Crusaders. The Celtics replaced the Byzantines in the early 13th century. Most of the medieval monuments we see today are from them, though some stand on Byzantine foundations. Ottoman Antalya was quiet until 1918, when the Italians made it the center of their short-lived Turkish colony. Start exploring Antalya's old town, Kaleji, from the redeveloped old harbor. The once crumbling quays have been rebuilt, gardens laid out, and harbor walls restored. The quayside is now full of restaurants, cafes, and clubs. Pirate boats, charter gullets, and fishing boats line the waterfront, offering day trips to caves and islands along the coast. A new glass lift runs between the harbor and Kumhuriyet Kadesi, near the Ataturk statue, offering panoramic views and an easy alternative to the steep cobblestone lanes of Kalaitsi. At the top, the vast public square has been redeveloped, with picnic spots, grassy areas and cafes overlooking the harbour. To explore on foot from the harbour, go uphill along Uzun Sharshi Sokak. Past the 18th century Mehmet Pasha Kami and reach Kalakapasa, Castle Gate, the main entrance to the old town. Nearby is the Sat Kulesi, Clock Tower, a Seltsuk tower with Roman column drums, built into the old walls. Kalakapisa is watched over by the Yivli Mineir, the fluted minaret, built during the reign of Seltsuk Sultan Aladdin Kikuba. It is now a symbol of the city. Facing the Yivlai Minaria is a plain Seltsa Khan, restored with glass, and filled with souvenir shops. Above this area, but access from Kumhariyat Kadesi, are old baths and a pyramidal mausoleum from 1377. Turn right onto Ataturk Kadesi, and you'll find the triple arched Hadrian's Gate, Uch Kapilar, marking a visit by that emperor in 130 AD. Isapchusokak, the quietest way into Kalaichi, starts here. It is a cobbled street of restored Ottoman houses, now home to pensions, trinket shops, restaurants, and bars. Halfway along, you'll see the Keswick Minaret, broken minaret, an architectural oddity that has served as a temple, church, and mosque. 